At last you've arrived. Good, good. There is much to do and every moment is critical. I'm Overseer Tremel. For decades, I've administered the trials that prove who is and is not worthy to join the Sith Order. The trials are a chance to weed out the weak. Those who face them either survive and become Sith, or die. I think I'll take the first option. I didn't bring you here for levity. Yes, you are here and ahead of schedule because of me. I expect you to obey. You face your trials, you serve me, and I will make you the most powerful acolyte here. Sounds like a plan. The trials themselves are difficult enough, but they are hardly the greatest threat you face. There's an acolyte here named Vemrin. He's your enemy, and he will try to kill you. We must prepare you. Let him try. I'll destroy him. With my guidance, someday you'll destroy all your enemies. That practice sword you've arrived with is insufficient. The blade of lesser acolytes. You need a dominating weapon. In the tomb of Ajunta Paul, there's an old armory. A strong Sith war blade awaits you there. The tomb is thick with claw slugs. Deadly savage creatures. Be speedy but careful. They've been the end of many an acolyte. Just tell me where to go. Once you acquire the war blade, I suggest you spend some time in the tomb bloodying it. Then come to me in my chambers in the academy. Light, I come with a message. Overseer Tremel can teach you the ways of the Sith, but not all of the skills. For that, there are specialists in the Academy. Overseer Tremel wishes you to meet them and learn what you can. The pure blood in your veins gives you a very attractive coloring. To even touch a pure blood woman, you must prove that the Sith runs strong through your muddied veins. A Sith woman only respects power. Go. Someday you may learn enough to impress me. If not, kill me. You will find the best trainers in the Academy's archive. You are expected there shortly. Hey there, Acolyte. Hold on a moment. Let me get a look at you. Hmm, so you're Overseer Tremel's secret weapon. Impressive, to be sure. Afraid the old man waited too long to make his move, though. I'm Vemrin, and unlike you, I've fought and bled for everything I have. I demand respect. Are you saying I haven't earned my way? Please, everyone knows what Tremel is doing. If Overseer Tremel had made his move a year ago when I first arrived, he might have had a chance. But now, too little, too late. This is ridiculous, Vemrin. Let's just kill him and hide the body. We're not on Balmora anymore, Togus. There are rules, traditions. We'll leave the shortcuts to Overseer Tremel and his last pathetic hope here. You're not very good with people, are you? You're not funny, just pathetic, and you've been warned. Coming, Dolgus? 
be right there, Vemrin. Listen to me, you useless priss. Acolytes aren't allowed to murder each other, but accidents happen. It isn't murder without witnesses. No more warnings. Vemrin's the alpha monster here. You go after Vemrin, you die. Good. You've returned. You seem to be in one piece. Tell me, how do you like your new blade? I suppose this is sufficient. What are you doing, Father? I only just got my war blade and I've been here six months. I have my reasons, Escala. And you will not breathe a word of this to anyone. Do you hear? Yes. Yes, Father. Acolyte, this is Escala, my daughter. She's one of the advanced students here. On her way to becoming Sith. If she minds herself. I'll keep quiet about your new charge, Father. But I won't be there if whatever you're planning blows up in your face. Don't mind her, she's just sore that I'm keeping secrets. She growls, but she's loyal. Now, I thought I heard Vemrin's voice in the adjacent chamber before you arrived. Did he make his move so soon? He just introduced himself to me. If he didn't attack, he must not fully comprehend the threat you represent. Good, good. Still, I'd hoped we'd have more time. Vemrin's not the type to sniff around for too long before trying to take a bite. In a drive for sheer numbers, the criteria for Academy admittance has been relaxed. Now anyone with false sensitivity is allowed entrance. Vemrin is mixed blood, the invisible rot eating at the foundation of the Empire. He must not be allowed to advance. So stop him yourself. Unfortunately, Vemrin's caught the eye of Darth Barriss, one of the most influential Sith Lords. He's being groomed to be Barriss's new apprentice. As Darth Barriss's apprentice, the power at Vemrin's fingertips will be considerable. He could change the Sith for the worse. You must proceed to your next trial immediately. I want you to interrogate three prisoners in the Academy jails and decide their fates. Consider each criminal's story carefully. The decisions you make will be scrutinized, so let your passions guide your judgments. I will handle it. Go to the Academy prison. Speak to Head Jailer Nash and return to me after you've passed judgment on the prisoners. One more cheer from you, little bird, and you'll regret it. Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> Jerk! If you don't like that, just say so. I can do other animals too. Dire cat, frog dog, waking monkey lizard, you name it. You, I'm Jayla Nash. I run these cells in slave pits. You're the acolyte Tremel sent for the test, right? <laughs> he thinks highly of you. That's good to hear. I want to do well. You should know this situation is highly unusual. Normally an acolyte goes off well for the interrogation. Overseer Tremel had these three shipped in for you. He thinks you're the next coming of Exar Kun. But you ought to know, Tremel ain't the only one paying attention to you. Now, these three prisoners have been transferred here for your inspection. You gotta interrogate them as needed, and then decide their fate. The convicted are usually executed, or given a trial by combat to see if they're worthy. Whatever you decide, you will be the one to carry out the sentence. I was hoping this would keep me entertained. Ah, <sighs> fine. Let's get started. This one on the left. You freaks aren't getting anything new out of me. Just do whatever you're gonna do. You can either talk to me or to the Inquisitors. And I promise, I have a much sunnier disposition. Get lost. I've been through this routine. I already know all your Inquisitors by name. Impudent to the last. As I was saying, she was sent to kill an Imperial spy in the Yavin system. Throughout her torture, she maintained that she was hired anonymously. Get it through your damn head! I had no idea he was Imperial, and I don't know who hired me! Murder is a serious charge. Do you regret what you did? Are you for real? No. I love how this turned out. 
The point is, she doesn't deny the charge. So now you must decide, execution or trial by combat. Which do you choose? Neither, actually. She could prove useful. Send her to Imperial Intelligence. I won't work for free. Huh. You spared her. Interesting. Please, I am a fellow Sith. Judge me with an open mind and grant me trial by combat, I beg you. Your name, now. This part of waste is Davotech. Once a valued Sith champion, until he botched an important mission and caused a thousand Imperial deaths. Now look at him. I served faithfully for 24 years. Then one mistake, and they threw me away. Now I have been left here to rot. Please, let me feel the weight of a weapon once more. I will grant your wish. A warrior should die with his boots on. My thanks, young warrior. Huh. This should be entertaining. Much of a fight, did he? Torture and old age had weakened him. Ah, well, this last prisoner's a bit of a puzzle. He's called Brig, and he's a jittery little wretch, suspected of supplying forged documents to Republic agents. Strangely enough, he maintains his innocence, despite being severely tortured. Nebaga imana, naki naya, bila magnam unya kam nalebek. Your ramblings are falling on deaf ears. Confess and the torture will stop. Karipaka Yangnaya! Harakam Serkmera! Nebaga Imana! Naki Naya! Bila Magnam Unya Kamna Lebek! Ah, he's never wavered from that line. And the evidence is circumstantial. I suppose it's actually possible he didn't do it. So, what do you decide? I think in this case we should release him. Let him go. Freedom, huh? That's a new one. Ah, well that's sad. You're an interesting one, kid. I can see why people are keeping tabs on you. Head back to Overseer Tremel. See what he thinks of your choices. Sorry to make you wait, Acolyte. These interruptions are incredibly annoying. On to the business at hand, your test in the jails. First, the assassin, Solentz. She attempted to kill an Imperial spy, but was unaware of her client's affiliation. You assigned her to Imperial Intelligence. I commend you, that was excellent thinking. Never waste a potential resource. I just figured, let the Imperials deal with her insolence. Whatever the reasoning, the choice was exactly what Darth Barris would respect. Now, Devotech, the failed warrior, why grant his wish for a trial by combat? I needed to discover for certain that he was no longer useful. That holds some merit, but it should have been obvious he was far past any use. Devotech was an utter waste of space. Once something is no longer useful, it should be eradicated. Remember that. Now, the last prisoner, the Forger. Letting him go was highly questionable. Explain yourself. Keeping or killing him would be meaningless. Nothing would be gained by either. Innocent or not, he leaves here with first-hand knowledge of our facilities and procedures. It's potentially compromising to have him floating about the galaxy. You must always be thinking and considering every angle. Aside from a strong and skilled sword arm, that will be what impresses Darth Barris the most. You're beginning to understand what it means to be Sith. 
but you're far from being able to impress Darth Barris. I'll try harder, Overseer, I promise. If you don't, you're doomed. Remember that. Because I forced you into the Academy ahead of schedule, Darth Barris will be predisposed to judging you severely. And by severely, I mean fatally. Now, we must hurry to your next trial. Every moment that passes, we risk discovery before we're ready. In the caverns of Mark Aragnos is the beast he left to guard his legacy. Go there, sit among the flames, and wait for the beast to come for you. I break beasts' necks in my sleep. Don't be rash. Defeating this creature will take your best effort. Return to the Valley of the Dark Lords and find the tomb of Marco Ragnos. I'll see you when the beast is slain. Good luck. Your name is Dolgus, right? Vemrin's boy. Very good. It's good to know the name of your killer. Notice anything interesting? No witnesses. No witnesses means no rules. No more shortcuts. No more special treatment. You're just going to be another dead failure on Korriban. Hold up, hold up. Look, I was wrong. What they're saying about you, totally true. So, strong. I don't want to die. I'm afraid it's a little late for begging. What will you give me to let you live? Here, yeah, I've got a few credits. Take them. Business is always welcome. Oh, you won't see me again. I promise. <gasps> we must speak quickly, Acolyte. There isn't much time. I may have made a slight miscalculation. The beast of Mark Aragnos was a great source of dark energy here on Corriban. When it was slain, there was a tremor in the Force. Darth Barris felt that tremor and has become aware of you. He demands an audience. Tell me what to expect, Overseer. Barris is a serious man, but a master of deception. Everything he does and says is calculated. He will attempt to trip you up, test your nature, get to the heart of who you are. Always take him seriously. And I mean always. Consider me warned. We might not speak again, Acolyte. You're the best chance of stopping Vemrin. If you fail, I doubt there will be another strong enough. Good luck. Meet Darth Barris in his chambers, and hurry. He won't take kindly to waiting. There, Tino. I believe that's the one. Really? All right. Hey, you! Careful, Tino. Come on, I'm antsy for some action. You there! Are you the big shot they're all talking about? The one who's been personally summoned by Darth Barris himself? 
News sure does travel fast. Please pardon my over-eager friend. It's just that we've heard so much about you. And we want to get in good with you. Tino? What my blunt partner here means is that if you need anything or anyone, say, dealt with, we'd like you to consider us. She's talking about Femrin. We'll kill him for you. Uh, sorry. I should have had Tino muzzled. <laughs> so, what do you say? We know Vemrin tried to have you killed. Would you like him eliminated? I'm preserving the pleasure for myself. Far be it for us to rob you of such an experience. But consider this. There are rules. Acolytes are not to openly kill one another. Everyone knows of your rivalry. If you kill him, the Lords will presume your guilt. But if Vemrin croaks while you get an alibi, people might be suspicious, but they won't be able to pin it on you. See? I don't know. How can I be sure you can pull it off? Let us prove ourselves to you. Spar with us, then decide if we have the skills to benefit you in this endeavor. I don't have time for children's games. Oh, it won't take long. A few passes and it'll be obvious how impressive we are. Come on, boys. Time to show our stuff. took all four of us apart. This changes everything. From what I hear, Vemrin's every bit your physical equal. <laughs> if we can't even hold up sparring against you, we'll never be able to kill him. I agree. You should steer clear of Vemrin. Well, this has been quite the sobering experience. Thanks for setting us straight. I don't get it. Are we going to kill somebody or not? No, Tino. And I think we ought to rethink this whole Sith training thing, hmm? Most of you will not return from this endeavor. If you die, you will be forgotten. If you give up, you will be killed. No, out of my sight. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should. This is the end of the line for you, Clemrel. Just make sure you stay out of my way. Look here, Vimran. I see the upstart, but no sign of Dolgus. Clemrel, Vimran, you have been dismissed. Yes, Master. I underestimated you by sending Dolgus. It will not happen again. Are you having trouble with Acolyte Vimran, supplicant? Nothing gets under my skin. He is thoroughly capable of packing up his threats. Vimran has paid his dues. He's fought a deck stacked against him to get here. You, on the other hand... Let me get a closer look at you. Yes, as I suspected. Overseer Tremel has done you and this academy a great disservice. Your war blade came early. Prisoners flown in for your convenience. Even a beast here on Korriban instead of off-world in the wild. The pacing of the trials is deliberate. Only full immersion over time produces results. Your mind is soft, unhoned, undisciplined. It was never my intention to offend. But it is offensive to be presented with an acolyte who doesn't even have a rudimentary understanding of what it means to be Sith. The first month of trials should be dedicated to philosophy, conceptual tactics, understanding of the Sith Code. Recite the Sith Code for me, acolyte, and explain its meaning in battle, war, and politics. Sure, give me a minute. Uh, well, you see, there's the dark side, um, the light side, and, uh, and there you have it. Pathetic. 
I can read the lie from a nascent force user with my eyes closed. I am your master now. Tremel was becoming lax before you ever arrived. His unwillingness to adapt to the evolving Sith paradigm has become a liability. These are the actions of a traitor. Traitors are executed. I grant you immunity from punishment. Kill Tremel and bring back his hand as proof. I do not like the idea of killing him, but I'll do it if I must. I do not make requests, supplicant. Now, leave. I'm sure Tremel is still in his chambers. Don't return until you've killed him. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Has Barris sent you back to me? Your instincts are sharp, Overseer. Barris ordered me to kill you. Then I have been outplayed. Barris has the authority, but I did not think he would do something this overt. Either I die, or he forces me to kill you, and to destroy my own plan. A master stroke. Very well, you have your orders, Zekalite. Know that it gives me no pleasure to kill you. Hold on. It doesn't have to come to this, Tremel. Do not hedge now. This is the way of the Sith. I'll try to make your end quick and painless. It's the least I can do. I knew you were strong in the Force, but not like this. You're more than ready to challenge Vemrin. Barris won't be able to deny that now. He'll have the satisfaction of my death. But I die knowing my success. Go ahead. End this. You're getting ahead of yourself. I only need your hand. What? Wait. I think I understand. Aris demands my hand. Proof of my death. I don't want your pity, Acolyte. That's the deal. Take it or leave it. I'm a credit to the dark side. My cause is just. You can see clearly. Even if Barras cannot. Take my hand. <laughs> well, that didn't tickle. I'll rest and then leave Corriban covertly. Just be thankful you're not dead. Of course. Goodbye, Acolyte. Rid the Sith of that plague, Vemrin. My hopes lie with you. What's this? The Acolyte returns, and with a bloodied weapon. I assume this means Tremel is no more. Give me his hand. Here, take this one ring as a memento. Remembering the past can strengthen resolve and embolden the spirit. I am impressed you had the fortitude to destroy him. You know he thought of you as family. How did it feel to betray him? We worked closely together. It was quite difficult, Master. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. Remember that. You have taken your first step to understanding the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, we gain strength. Through strength, we gain power. 
Through power, we gain victory, and through victory, our chains are broken. The Force shall set us free. By embracing the cold and destroying Tremel, you have freed yourself from his shackles and escaped his fate. You've made your point. I understand. That's more like it. I had a feeling you'd be a fast learner. Now, there are sacred ruins in the tomb of Tulak Horde. The ancient inscriptions that once adorned the walls of each ruin lie in pieces. You will venture through the entire tomb, search all of the ruins, and bring me a shard from each of these inscriptions. You will do this, or you will die. Vemran and my other acolytes have already been sent. There are no rules regarding how they secure the shards, and they will stop at nothing. Fight your way through the tomb of Tulakord in the Valley of the Dark Lords, and bring me the shards from each of the ruined shrines. You did it, didn't you? You got the shards from the tomb, and you're on your way back to Lord Barris. I didn't even break a sweat. That's all I needed to hear. Stop! I, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I tried to get through the tomb, but there were just too many Shirak. I barely escaped. I figured better to ambush you and take your shards. But I see that's just as futile. Vemran is already inside with Barris. All the other acolytes died. You were my only chance. Now, I'm doomed. I'll never become Sith. Unless I return with the shards, Barris will have me killed. Well, why don't you flee? Get off the planet. Give up trying to be Sith. You can't get off Korriban without official clearance. I might be able to hide in the wilds, but I wouldn't survive long. Then be a man and try to get the shards again. I... I can't go back in there. I just can't. I've heard of a mad hermit in one of the tombs who welcomes failures from the trials. Maybe I'll seek him out. Supplicant returns, and with all the shards from the tomb of Tulak Horde, superb. It seems your hopes have been dashed, Vemran. Appearances can be deceptive. Excuse, Vemran Supplicant. He expected you to fall on your face. This is old hat for Vemran. He should be used to disappointment by now. The tension is thick between you two. A great source of emotion to feed on. I wonder what will happen when it boils over. You both stand on the precipice of becoming Sith. But only one of you will have the opportunity to claim a special lightsaber and serve as my apprentice. I thought it would be you, Vemran, but I've changed my mind. What? I've done everything you've asked! Better than any of the others! The honor should be mine! I'm sorry, Vemran. I know how much you were gunning for this. Today, Vemran is every bit your equal. But the Force is stronger with you, Acolyte. And there is a power sleeping within you. It was a simple decision. Now, Vemran, go wait in my antechamber for your instructions. This instant. Now I hope you fathom how fortunate you are to be singled out. If you become my apprentice, the galaxy will bend before you. 
can't wait to start killing. The lightsaber you will seek is old and powerful. It is housed in a forbidden cavern in the tomb of Nagasado, where few Sith have ever set foot. Almost no one knows how to find the secret entrance, but there is a Twi'lek in the holding pens who was caught breaking in there. I hear she is quite willful. Take her and make her show you the entrance to the Forbidden Cave. You insult me, Barris. I do not need the help of a slave. You will not find the Forbidden Cave without her. Other acolytes seeking to complete their trials are sent to the tomb, where Academy laws are waived. They will try to murder you. This test will determine if you become Sith. So bolster yourself. To set foot in the tomb of Naga Sadao is to breathe in death itself. Ouch! Give it a rest, will ya? I'm getting my fill of fun while I still can, slave. Ah, uh, as if on cue, look who's back. Word is you might become Lord Barris's apprentice. Uh, nice work if you can get it. So, I hear you'll be relieving me of this Twi'lek. She's a pain in the neck. Ha! <laughs> Who's a pain in the neck? I'm the one wearing a shock collar. Huh. <laughs> Consider that a going away present, Twi'lek. Seems you might be useful for something after all. This bruiser is taking you into the tomb where we caught you. None of you can figure out how to activate the tomb statues to open the Forbidden Cavern, huh? You got some kind of business in that secret Sith chamber, do you? Yes, and I'd appreciate your help. Don't bother being pleasant. Here, kid. Take the shock control color. I'll set it to a higher level. Use it enough, she'll show you the back door to her mother's house. I suppose I can play tomb tour guide. A lot of work went into cracking that nut. But I did it once. I can do it again. So we're clear. I'm officially on strike when it comes to domestic duties. You will do everything I require, and I mean everything. Don't get any twisted ideas in that silly head of yours. Lead the way. I'll show you the unlocking points throughout the tomb, and then open the secret door for you. Hey, this is it. The secret entrance to the hidden cavern isn't here. Just let me get my bearings. Take your time, slave. Just have the entrance uncovered by the time I've finished killing your new master. Oh good. We were getting lonely. And now look who's decided to join the party. My old friend Vemrin. My passions run deeper than yours. I am the true essence of what it is to be Sith. My legacy has suffered long enough. After today, you will be forgotten. It ends here and now. Barris's apprentice was my destiny. Did I come this far and overcome such adversity, only to be proven unworthy? I have waited a long time to put you in your place. Consider this. Killing you was easy. Then do it. Finish me. Wow, nice work. Glad to impress you. The secret entrance is right here.
welcome. You have been most helpful. It's nice to be acknowledged. Thanks. father was a staunch traditionalist and he was especially hard on me. But he's my blood. Did you think you could kill him and get away with it? Relax, Eskela. Your father is alive. That's a lie. Lord Barris has his hand. I mercifully took your father's hand instead of his life. What? You took pity on him and now he pretends to be dead? You may not be a murderer, but your mercy proves you're not Sith material either. I should inform Lord Barris, but I won't. No, let him discover your softness for himself. My directive is clear now. I must hunt down my gutless father and end his humiliation. You go ahead and do that. I'll be sure to kiss him on the cheek for you. Come on, boys, let's go. I am beside myself. Not only did you get the Twi'lek to cooperate, but you completed the task and claimed the ancient lightsaber. Venran was not in my chamber as I instructed. I take it he sought to stop you and claim the ancient weapon as his own. Regrettably, he wouldn't take no for an answer. I was forced to kill him. Bravo! I see you may indeed become one of the strongest Sith in the galaxy. Your trials are over. You are now my apprentice. I can hardly wait to start, my master. Good, because it's time to unleash you. This is only the beginning, with you as my right hand. We shall strike fear into the Empire's enemies. I must convene with the Emperor and inform him of your progress. This shuttle pass will take you to Drummond Koss. Meet me at the Citadel there. 
As fond as I am of this unyielding planet, it will be a pleasure to leave. You will find Droman Kos to be considerably more stimulating. Take the Twi'lek slave as my gift. Do with her as you wish. If she'll be of use, by all means take her with you to Drummond Cross. So, hey, I've been thinking, maybe you want to take this shock collar off? You know, as a sign of thanks for my hard work on Korriban. Not that I don't enjoy the perpetual fear of electrocution. You've earned it, Vet. It is not freedom, though. Well, now I feel stupid for not asking sooner. Don't worry. I'll try not to give you reason to slap that thing back on. Neither the collar nor your slavery were my idea. I hear you. Just another day in the life of the Empire, huh? Well, I'm not in prison or collared, and it's sort of miserable weather, so I guess we should... Uh... What happens now? You and me, working together, taking down the galaxy. What do you think? What? Uh, well... Of course. Me and my buddy, the Sith. Nobody's gonna pick on me at school. Sorry. Let's just get going, yeah? <laughs>